hey guys how you doing so in, in this short video i want to show you how you can create a click bot a simple bot which will go on this website and just click this upvote buttons one by one in the sequence so let's get started i'm gonna open the automated extension and then i'm gonna select the click action uh, over here once i click uh, it's going to be activated and as you can see uh, i'm already in the selection mode i can select the element i want to automate you to click and in this case i want to select the upvote but as you can see by default uh, the click action can select only one element because we can click uh, only at one element right even we as a human beings uh, at the same time so but we have this option called repeat click so if i do click over here to go into selection mode once again i will be able to select now multiple elements as you can see 34 elements are there and then i just want to reject those downvotes because we don't need it we just want to upvote so i'm going to reject them by clicking it but as you, as you can see once again the blue elements are the one which which are auto suggested by the automated algorithm so we're gonna just reject them and we are left only with upvote button in this case 17. so i'm gonna confirm over here and that's what we have so if i run this bot right now create and run go to the dashboard uh I'll, I need to find this bot over here. And if we go to the logs, we're going to see what's happening. So it's navigating. And now it's just click and repeating all this vote by vote. And I'm going to stop this bot uh, because I want to actually see that this click action is happening. So I, I believe that it happened, but I want to see with my eyes and how I'm going to do this. Uh, we're going to use a screenshot action and here's the screenshot action. Uh, but before I add a screenshot, I also want to add a wait action because I just want to wait a little bit uh, for automatio to execute, uh, to load everything what needs to be loaded. So I don't want to rush. I actually want to slow it down a little bit. So I added first a wait action and um, in order to execute those uh, wait and screenshot action, action uh, after each of these click, I need to create a nested action. And I'm going to do this just by drag and dropping wait inside of the click action like this. And as you can see, this curved arrow and this spacing over here, box of spacing, is actually showed that this is a nested action. So I'm going to do also uh, a screenshot and I'm just going to move it a little bit at the right so it becomes the nested one and how this logic will work for each of these click on upload button um, uh, Demetrio will execute the wait and the screenshot and then again it's going to come back to the top and execute the second vote and then again wait and screenshot and it will do 17 times like this or how many times it's in there actually on the page and that's it uh, before I run this part I want to just change this uh, wait time to 1000 milliseconds which is one second and that's it I, I can run this and i just gonna update and run the previous bot and let's go and we see it's already in the queue it's running and if i go to the logs uh, we are waiting to navigate out there i mean automate you to navigate and we're gonna see uh, right now in the logs that it's gonna click and then execute the wait and then screenshot and then click second time execute wait screenshot and so on it's going too fast so i can repeat but let's watch the screenshot actually what automate is doing as you can see the red ones um are happening it's upvote upvote 45 now should 46 now should be 37 now should be 37 again, 34, right? And so so this is what the tomato is doing right now. It's going there and clicking each of these buttons. Of course, we could 
um, extend this bot with much complex things like to extract the data, to uh, maybe create a submit bot, uh, which you'll click on this button over here and then input some, some article and then click send. Or we can also tell Automatio to repeat this process over the more pages so we can create a pagination simply like this and create this another loop and say, hey, Automatio, do this for 10 pages. And then we can also do and say, hey, Automatio, trigger yourself every, um, I don't know, once a day and repeat this process. So every day go there, automatically run yourself and go there and click on this uh, vote button. And this is just example, the voting, uh, because this is a very simple website and we do not do any harm because you don't even need registration on this. Every, everybody can vote. So this is just example, but you can think of where you can use it yourself. So hope this uh, video and tutorial was short and the point and useful and let me know if you have any question uh, success or fails with this and i wish you all the best peace